Welcome back to our homestead. Today I'm going to be making an immune boosting tincture and I thought I would bring you guys along to show you how easy this is. Today I have just old jam jars that I've saved so I'm not wasting any canning jars. I've got four of them pre-measured and filled with one quarter cup of elderberries, one tablespoon of thyme, three tablespoons of echinacea, and one tablespoon of hyssop. Everything's in the jar already. And in this jar, I have about a 60-40 ratio of purified water and a vegetable glycerin, and it is kosher. This is already mixed up. Everything's in my jars, and I'm just going to fill each jar almost to the top, leaving a little bit of room at the top for expansion. I'm going to fill my jar. Now I buy my vegetable glycerin in the gallon jugs. It saves a lot of money this way. I'm going to fill it up, if you can see. Try to do over 55%. I'm going to give it a quick stir. And finish filling my jars. I'm just going to place on your lids. And you're going to give it a good shake. Get everything nice and mixed up. And you're going to set these jars in a cool, dark pantry for four to six weeks, making sure every day that you shake your jars once a day. After these sit for four to six weeks, you're going to strain out your solids with a cheesecloth or I use nylons, they're cheap and effective um, and reusable. After I strain out the solids, I am going to fill the liquid into these bottles. They are glass amber jars, they come with a dropper, they are uh, pre-marked with measurements on there, and then they'll be good to use. And that was it, that's simple. You can also use herbs like lemon balm or sage. I just didn't have those on hand. I used what I had, and uh, great for immune boosting. And that's it. Thanks for stopping by and making the immune boosting tincture with us.